This is the Rabbit Report. I am Rabbit. Hey, how you doing? I've got something different. I haven't done any Marvel Legends for a while. So tonight, I've got Shang-Chi. Marvel Legends Shang-Chi. And I just happened to see this at Target, so I picked it up. I am going to be 100% honest. I don't know that much about Shang-Chi. I did a little bit of research before I shot this video, but don't know much about him. The reason I picked this up, the reason I thought it was cool is because he's an Asian superhero. We don't have that many. That's, I mean, that's super cool. And hey, he's going to get an MCU movie coming out in 2021. It's going to be called Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Shang-Chi is beginning to be played by an Asian Canadian. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to say this name right. I'm, I apologize, but his name is Simu Liu. And... Don't know anything about him. I know he was in one episode of War from Black. I really love that show. But uh, he's really cute. And we're going to have an Asian superhero on the big screen sometime. And that's super cool. Can't wait for that. Uh, so on the front, you do have the figure. You have a uh, demo goblin build-a-figure piece, which I don't know what I'm going to do with that. If you want it, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to give it to you, or I might trade or sell it on eBay. We'll see. Uh, on the side, you've got a portrait or a drawing of the character. On the other side, also another drawing of the character, and you can see a little bit of the action figure there. On the top, pretty much nothing. On the bottom, you've got your barcode. And on the back, You've got a nice action pose of the figure as well as the other characters in the line to build the Demo Goblin. I don't know anything about Demo Goblin either. I don't know. Whatever. You know, we're just flying by the seat of our pants tonight. Hey! So, Shang-Chi was created by Steve Englehart and Jim Starling. He first appeared in Special Marvel Edition number 15 in 1973. So this character is uh, just a little bit older than I am. That's that's actually kind of cool. Not a lot of characters were born around or created around when I was born. So I, that's kind of cool. And it's, uh, you know... It's an Asian character, which is exciting. Don't get to see a lot of people that look like me on the big screen or in comics. Not, not American comics, anyway. All right. So you got your package. You got your uh, warnings in multiple languages. Here he is in the carton. It's got a nice insert, which... Uh, might work really cool for some figure photography. All right. I really wish that, uh, oops, there goes the bill figure piece. It's got a separate cape. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> um, you know, I was kind of disappointed with the one they decided to do uh, Iron Fist as a sorry to bring this up again i know the controversy is really old but uh you know iron fish should have been should have been asian american or asian character uh for the netflix series you got a couple of nunchucks in here but i'm, I'm glad to see that we're finally going to get an asian character in a marvel series so that's cool. Of course, you know, this character is basically supposed to be their Marvel's version of Bruce Lee. I think they were trying to do... What was that show? Kung Fu. They were trying to do Kung Fu, which was, of course, supposed to be Bruce Lee. Ended up being... I uh, can't remember the name of the actor. The actor that was in Kill Bill. Anyway... It's got a boatload of extra hands, which is kind of cool. Like, I haven't seen a Marvel Legend figure with this many extra hands, so that's pretty neat. What do you got here? You got uh, 
grippy hand. Oops, what just fell out? Another type of grippy hand. Oh, I see, these are taped in. I was all trying to pull them out and I realized they're taped in. You've got a fist, which is very important if you're gonna be doing some kind of martial arts. Oh, another open kind of grippy fist. I think it, this one's designed to hold the nunchucks. You've got a uh, flat palm for a chop or a block. Another fist. This uh, kind of claw hand, which is cool. A little claw. And another flat hand, which is pretty cool. I love the fact that there's so many options. All right. So here you got your figure. The other reason I bought this is because um, Hasbro is coming out with their 12 scale GI Joe figures. I thought this could be a stand in for a quick kick. So just got to give him a little bit of, uh, you know, repaint, maybe paint his pants black instead of red. And I uh, would have to change the color of the, the headband. But uh, either way, could make a good figure for GI Joe. But uh, let me show you some of the articulation real quick. His head can go up pretty well. Can bury the chin really nicely. Re a lot of tilt. It's on a ball joint and there's a lot of space underneath the head, which gives it a nice range of movement. He does have butterfly joints. You can see those moving back and forth on his back there get a nice range of movement arm doesn't go up that high um, that's a little disappointing I wish it would go up at least to 90 doesn't do it doesn't even do that uh, can rotate all the way around has a rotation at the bicep it's got a double elbow with a very nice range the hand can go back and forth and rotates all the way around. Uh, he's got a nice crunch back and a really nice range forward. Can rotate at the waist. His leg can go up a little bit. Seems like it should be able to go up a little higher. I mean, he's gonna be doing some martial arts like I don't know, come on Hasbro, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, it does rotate at the hip as well. Can go up that high, about 90 degrees. Uh, has a double joint for the knee. So that is nice, can go all the way up. Uh, the foot, as you can see, rocks back and forth. Can go up like that. Oof, it's a little loose there. I'm having a hard time with that. And there you go. Goes all the way down. So I will show you a size comparison with some other Marvel Legends figures in my photo booth so you can get an idea of how tall this figure is. And that'll be coming up right now. All right, here we are in my photo booth with Shang-Chi. I'm very pleased with the range of motion this figure has, and I was able to get him into some dynamic poses for Instagram. And you can find those at The Rabbit Report. Let me give you a size comparison with some other Marvel Legends figures. Here he is with Hydra Bob, who he was kicking his butt on Instagram. And also I do have the comic book version of Iron Fist 
right here. And it might be a little difficult to see, but they are all around the same height. Um, so very much in scale with each other. And just for kicks, here he is with a SH Figuarts Bruce Lee. And of course, he's a little bit taller than Bruce Lee, but that's to be expected. SH Figuarts are always a little smaller, but you can see the different sizes between all four figures. I will, of course, also have this on my turntable so you can see a nice 360 view, and that is coming up right now. Here we are with Shang-Chi, the master of Kung Fu, doing a nice pose. I was able to do some really dynamic posing with him on Instagram, and that's at the Rabbit Report. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel if you like this video. It really does help me out, and I appreciate it. I hope you're all staying home, staying safe, and remember to wash your hands, and I will catch you on the next Rabbit Report. Bye!